Today we're tasting food from the happiest place on earth. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Yeah, today we're gonna do some yoga with giant snakes. Aye. And then we're gonna be discovering the link between Nicolas Cage and deodorant. There is one, Yes, I'm told, but first, we're going to Disneyland, y'all. Yes, Disneyland, the place where dreams come true, Woo! specifically food dreams. And I'm not talking about the one where you and your eighth grade crush swim in pudding, and not that I would know anything about that because it's definitely not a dream I've ever had. No, Holly? we're talking about the food, not Holly, at Disneyland. <laughs> Disneyland is home to unique and intriguing food that can only be purchased on the premises, and that exclusivity makes me want it so much more, but is it all really great? And what is the best? It's time for Fairy Tales Can Come True If We Buy Disneyland Food and Chew. Now, we are going to be ranking them on this amazing board. We're going from the worst, which would be M I C K E die, M I C K E Y, M I C K E sigh, M I C K E buy this tasty treat, M I C K E must try, and M I C K E bullseye. All right, let's get started with an iconic Disney beverage, the famed Dole Whip. Here it is, a unique Disneyland frozen treat that people obsess over, apparently. Um, I haven't I, had this one, ever. Now, ours is a little melted. It, you know, it was acquired from Disneyland and it was brought back. Um, so we're taking that into account, the fact that we're not currently at Disneyland, we're not in the atmosphere. Some of these items have changed a little bit on the trip up from Anaheim. Mm -hmm. um, it's basically pineapple juice soft serve, uh, but is it much more as as all the people rave about? It is good though. It is good. And imagine you're out there, you've been waiting in lines. For a dollar more, you can make it a float. You got kids complaining to their parents, this is hot. This is the perfect remedy to that. Mm -hmm. I had this with the kids one day, you know when it's like sweltering? Boy, it really hits the spot. It's well, amazing, it's magical. I think they're all gonna be pretty good, so I just think that all we can do is sort of just put it in the middle. Yeah. You, you wanna put it at three or four? Yep, so I'm gonna go right there at four. Okay. All right, now, we're moving along to what I believe is the most iconic dish at uh, Disneyland. I know you do. The corn dog, bring in the corn dog. Now listen, I actually, we once took a mythical crew trip to Disneyland and I made everyone eat corn dogs for lunch. I was like, I don't even care if you've never had one. I don't even We had care. to plan our whole trip around. If you're around. a vegan, you have to eat one. Or you're fired, no I didn't do that, I would never do that. It's like, we, we had to be at the corn dog castle at a time when everybody was hungry and Rhett gathered everybody around and he's like, I'm buying all the corn dogs. Yeah. He's pretty excited. Um, now, of course, this is in uh, California Adventure. Now, this is eight seventy-five. You can get it at the Little Red Wagon, the Stage Door Cafe in Frontierland, or the best place to get it if you're going to get one, the Corn Dog Castle. It's a freaking kingdom that does nothing but make corn dogs. Um, I'm a mustard man when it comes to the corn dog, and I don't like to defile it with ketchup. I am too. I don't like mustard on a lot of things, but mustard is perfect for a corn dog. And let me tell you. Oh man. I have not had a corn dog better than this corn dog. What is the secret? Look at the batter. The batter is incredible. And it's so uniform. It held up. Now it's not lumpy in any way, it's like smooth. When you take this right out of the fryer, it's amazing. But it's still incredible. It's so good. It's really crispy on the outside and kind of cakey on the inside, but not milly at all. There's no milliness. It's almost like cornbread consistency. Oh my gosh. Don't let anybody make you feel self conscious about enjoying a corn dog. <laughs> Now, don't, worry, don't worry about the gifts that you're creating when you're eating it. <laughs> this is already a tough choice because not a chance. They're That's, so different. No, the corn dog is way better than that <laughs> pineapple mixture. Thing. This is a magical mixture, but this is a magical meal, which to me, I'm going to agree. I, I mean, I'll put it above it. I'm not going to go all the way to one. Well, no, there's no need for that yet. It's right off the bat, right there. Corn dog. All right, we're gonna get even more meaty now. Uh, the Disneyland turkey leg is a time-honored tradition of eating a gargantuan hunk of meat on a stick. Now, let's bring these suckers in. They are absolutely massive. Good now, gracious, I, I have not seen these. I, I see these at like a fair. Oh, I've seen people walking around. Me and you, I think both of us have a bias against turkey legs because we've had this discussion before. 
There was a, there was an It's like a genetically altered chicken leg. Well, I think, you know what, this I, I, this all goes back to the one time at the state fair. Do you remember this? Yeah, When I we do. were in high school and we thought these would be great and we got them at the North Carolina State Fair and we both took a couple of bites and we were like, there's not, something not just too rich or I don't know what it was, but for ever since then, we've just looked at people enjoying turkey, lane, uh, turkey legs with disdain. It's, and, um, it's, it has this barbaric kind of I don't mind that at all. You know, I, of course I don't mind that. Like people walking around like a like five year olds walking around with this as big as their upper torso. I'm like oh my oh my oh my. It's like normally oh, that's that's something scary. I would be into. That's what I'm saying. So it's kind of uh -huh. weird that I'm not into it. But it's been many years. Let me go back. It's remarkably hammy. How do they do it? How think... do they do it, Rat? How do they make it so remarkably hammy? No. Ellie told us that one of the secrets is that these are exclusively made by from male, not by male turkeys. <laughs> the male turkeys are not making the oral turkey legs. These are male turkeys, tom turkeys they call those. And while a lot of other ones might be female turkeys and that's, and there's a distinct difference in the taste of male and female turkeys. And for some reason, Disney said, let's do male turkeys only. That's the secret, Link. Does that's that how make, they make it so handy. Does handy. that make you like it more? I don't know, because I am a man. I mean, I like a good chicken leg, but when I'm at a, a park of happiness, I don't want to. I don't want to have like the animal parts in the front of my mind when I'm eating. It's this like, is too too not dissociated yeah, from. This is this is so dissociated. It's right. like it's what such a beautiful of, package of right. What part of the animal is a corn dog? It's like, so I'm just gonna. You know, I, I think it goes down here. I don't like it as much as the as the dull whip. I'm in agreement. M I C K E Y. All right, now if I had to pick one city for Disneyland to immortalize, my first thought would be Bowie's Creek, North Carolina, <laughs> our homeland. But they chose New Orleans instead, which is fine. Mm -hmm. uh, if you visit that section of the park, you apparently must try a Cafe Orleans Monte Cristo sandwich. I have not tried this. This is absolutely incredible looking. Um, turkey, ham, and Swiss sandwich, fried in a light batter, dusted with powdered sugar, and served with a what? berry puree. How have I missed this? It's got a, it, so it's almost, it starts out savory, and then as it moves towards the outside, it gets it sweet. But if you dip it in this, the berry puree, first, it starts sweet. Yeah. Oh my, wow. Oh my wow. <laughs> Good gosh. It's like eating a meat and cheese stuffed donut. It almost seems wrong. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's I, it's like when you're you're doing something that's wrong but feels right. You don't want anybody to see it. That's what's happening right now. So many flavors hit you. The fact it's, that it's, it's got, got all the cheese, food groups. The fact that it's got cheese and it's got some sweetness. Mm -hmm. I don't want to dethrone the corn dog. I really don't want to do it, but. I'm really leaning towards it right now. I gotta taste this corn dog again. That, who would have thought you could stick the sandwich in, a, in some berries? I think the corn dog is just a little bit better. Well, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm coming down here. It's just more refined. It Yeah, it's two things, but it really becomes one thing. This They're, is just like, as the corn dog king himself, I feel like I have the authority to issue a new decree. You think so? The Monte Cristo sandwich is better than a corn dog. I feel like you gotta go with me on this, man. You gotta ride this train. I am on the fence, so I I, I will gladly go with you. I mean, I never thought I would I, I never thought I would say it, but it's absolutely incredible. The, the corn, corn dog, dog is, king has dethroned himself. Sorry, I mean you can't can't be a king forever. M I C K E must try. Okay. Now we are moving to something that is available in Cars Land, Love which is place. my favorite place in all of Disneyland. It's cool, man. Uh, I've never heard of this either. It is the bacon mac and cheese cone. What? Creamy mac and cheese littered with bacon bits packed into a swirly golden bread cone. What? I mean, how? I've the been world? there. I did. What how, are we, how are we what missing are we doing? this? We're waiting yeah. in lines for rides like yeah. losers. We're idiots. We're Disney idiots. We're stupid. Gosh, I hate us. It's like a cornucopia of genius. Can you hear the ocean in it? I can hear mac and cheese. I can hear my future and it's grand enjoyment. <sighs> oh, it's great. There's no denying it's great. 
You can't eat, like if you went to this to Disney and you ate this and the Monte Cristo sandwich in the same day, you'd keel over. Yeah, that's that's too much. Of course, we're about to do it right now. Yeah, we'll do it. But I mean, you got to make a choice. You got to be what heart attack am I going to have at Disneyland today? It's it's really 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 good. I would definitely get it, but there's in my mind there's no way it beats either the corn dog or the uh, the Monte Cristo at this point. I'm a fan of the Dole Whip. I don't want to move that down. Okay. I personally am, am more a fan of savory than sweet, but you know I made the the corn dog king decision, so I'll let you do that. We're moving that one into slot number five. And now let's eat a churro. That you can find them all around Disney, but we got our hands on a special edition churro. This one is the rose gold churro that's found outside of Sleeping Beauty's castle, which by the way is smaller than you think it would be. Yeah, it's bigger in your mind. Yeah, even now, it's, it's growing in my mind. Right. Uh, Five dollars twenty-five cent for this this churro. It's got um, strawberry flavored sprinkles and gold sprinkles on it. Oh, that's magical. It smells good, and it is very pretty. Let's eat it. Now again, I just made the trek back from Anaheim. Churros really need to be enjoyed. Fresh off the cart. Right out of the cart. But if we put ourselves back in that place, that's a, that's it's, a very unique experience. It's got everything you would expect from a churro. I still, I still think there's cinnamon in it. But then that strawberry hits you and you're like, wow, this is surprising. I really like it, but it's not, it's not a mind blowing experience. You know what I'm saying? Not to it's me. Not like, it's not the kind of thing that I would gather all my employees up and force them to eat. You know what I'm saying? Right. I do that with corn dogs. <laughs> right. And I'm kind of biased against strawberry flavored things because I usually don't opt for those. So if you love strawberry flavored things, you're no doubt gonna put this higher than we're about to rank it. Um, so let's rank this, and then let, let's let's see what we're gonna do, because there's nothing in the number one slot, and we're not gonna put the churros there, right? We agree. Right. So I, I actually think, I'm actually putting this pretty low. <laughs> Ellie, Ellie was talking huge. She loves this thing. Maybe she was throwing I'm sorry, it Ellie. I think this is your number one, Ellie. Yes. But, for us, I mean, I, I'm gonna put it. It's better than a turkey leg. We'll, we'll give, <laughs> we'll give you that. I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put it way down here. But, now, but here's here's the thing. Here we got it. We got to talk about this. Well, Ellie pointed something out, and I do want to take this into account. She pointed out, reminded us that the Monte Cristo sandwich is available only at a reservation only cafe, the Cafe Orleans, and it's twenty one dollars. Twenty one freaking dollars. Whereas you can get this corn dog for eight seventy five, which is a lot for a corn dog, but you can get it at a freaking castle which is actually just a little booth, and two other places, so it's readily accessible, and it's the perfect thing to walk around Disney. So I think there's the, the portability, and the availability, and oh, the is affordability. Co is Corn Dog King trying to take back the throne? I'm just saying, well the Corn Dog King can do what he wants. The Corn Dog King yeah. needs, to, needs to consult with the hand of the Corn Dog King. <laughs> okay, all right, what do you? What do well, you who is really the guy with all the power? What do Let's you, be real. What do you think? You're just a, a sniveling child who rants about corn dogs all day, oh, and you? I'm making decisions for the realm. You think I'm like Joffrey? Is that what but you're trying to say? I do agree with myself and the thoughts that I planted in the king's mind <laughs> that we gotta, we gotta, this thing is, well, not in its current form, but this is a beautiful entity. It was a beautiful that, entity. That must be enjoyed. Move that to the number one slot. And it looks like a number one. Move the Monte Doesn't Cristo it? to number two. Move the Dole Whip, which I just can't get enough of, to number three. Then you got the cone of happiness, the churro of strawberryness. And the leg of, I say nastiness, but you might love it. <laughs> Forgettable the turkey. Five. There it is. How many of you have we upset today? <laughs> Let us know in the Because. comments. Click. I'm sure you will. And click through to watch us literally do yoga with snakes. Oh, it's gonna be scary. Whether you're at the happiest place on earth or lounging at home, you can get comfy in one of our GMM hoodies and t-shirts, available at mythical.store.